na gabenta ki khobor ba man kasmi pet bat subscribe ya u antor news khobla ye phi ba ro ki dikilong ki khobor ba ta kasmi ulamphang ge yung dorbar thau an utho ma sang ma ulai thu ba ka dorbar sun rai jung yung dorbar thau an ka jila mekhalaya kansdang na du ka arflai trik unailar hadu ka lai phau trik nailar hadin balawai ka jingyalang jung ka business advisory committee bac Ha ka jingya lang laya don kinong yalam kaliang persha ake ba kentup yu ba roni viling do ba ru ba charles ping ro ba na kaliang gesor kar ba kentup usimbut menteri rang ba ake jela ba press tun ten song ba ru ba lak men rembui ulam pang yu tu da ka wik sur ba ka jingya lang kalap liang yu ka draft kalanda ka bala terwa ba ka dor bar jong ka ayom sen rai ka yung dor bar thau an ka jela mikalaya ka nong na du ka ar fly trik hadu ka life ho trik unai lar ulam pang ulai tu ba ka ne ka dor bar ka ne san sngi It was unanimously accepted. Uh, uh, the draft calendar that was submitted. So the autumn session of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly will, con will be convened on the 23rd of August. Uh, till we will continue till uh, 30th of August. So, what do, how many days about the government? Uh, uh, we have compared the last year's. Uh, session and accordingly we have decided to have five uh, working days, five working days. So you will go with the same uh, opposition leader or uh, the right uh, That is not, as I said earlier, I'm only talking about the SFP session. That will be decided later on. Uh, nothing so far has come up. As you can see from today's, I think, news item also, I have already given my uh, view. <coughs> that, uh, that we have uh, no change so far. Yeah, one small issue, uh, MLA, I'm sending MLA, Subhi Maharaj. Those we are hurry. Uh, can you tell us any uh, complaint came and any action? No, no. It doesn't act. Uh, it, is, it was uh, kind of interaction of two individuals, which is not related to I mean, political things. So I think the matter has been, I, so far my knowledge is concerned, I think the matter has been resolved between two of them. So. There is nothing more to discuss. I think they have come to a compromise and they have decided not to come in, uh, not to take the matter to other dimensions. But does this incident not leave NPP in a bad light? It shows the party in a very bad. Yes, I unfortunately yes. But uh, that's all I can say about it now because it was a alteration, altercation of between two individuals, and the matter has been resolved between them. So just quickly, on uh, the new assembly, when are we expecting, we thought that this autumn session we can expect? I, I have been, I have been uh, trying to ensure that the uh, progress, work progress is uh, good enough. In fact, I have also made a surprise visit yesterday and uh, I'm happy the progress is uh, going okay smoothly. But however, I think because of the recent uh, thing, some of the laborers are absent. We have we were supposed to have around 200 workforce there, but I could see only around 50 to 60. So that we that is hampering the progress of the work. Is it because of the checks that are carried out by NGOs that is why it's hampering? I I don't know. I have no. I will not say anything about it. But the workforce is very less. But the progress is okay. I mean, uh, but at this pace. I don't think we will be able to finish uh, in the timeline that was given.